Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title of this particular prophetic word says, God is so happy for your connection with this particular person. God is so happy about the two of you. God is so happy putting the two of you together. God is so happy bringing the two of you together. God is so happy joining your life with this particular person. God is so, so happy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course. You know that I love you so much, and my prayer for you is that the good Lord begins to bless you powerfully, amazingly. Let the good Lord reward your consistency. Let God uplift you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what are you really waiting for? Join this amazing family. You are already welcome, and I love you so much. God bless you. God is very happy. Now, let me say something. When God created man, what happened was he told Adam to name the animals that he brought Adam's way. And he noticed that Adam started naming these particular animals. And Adam got to a place where he could not find what was suitable for him. He could not find what was his kind. And when he got to that particular point, God realized that. And when God realized that, what he did was he decided that he was going to make another human being. And the Bible says, out of the rib of Adam, he made somebody else to be his companion. Now, Adam made God made Eve out of the rib of Adam, which is very true and is very good. But it was not necessarily just because um, Adam needed a wife. It was because Adam needed a friend. Adam needed a companion. In every companion, in every couple, in every relationship, you want to find that friend in your partner. You want to find a lot in your partner. So much so that no matter what is happening, no matter what is going on, when you begin to find, oh, I can confide in this person, oh, I can um, bond with this person, oh, I can be free with this person, that is the purpose. That is what makes everything amazing. That is what makes everything beautiful. When you get to that particular stage where you begin to notice, oh, I can bond better. Oh, we can bond better. That is the essence. Every marriage without friendship is questionable. Why? Because you find the people not being themselves. Every marriage that is a friendship marriage, what begins to happen is that you get to a position whereby no matter the problem. Now, when I'm talking about marriage, I'm talking about um, a come together. I'm talking about a union. I'm talking about partners, okay? I'm talking about a relationship. Every relationship needs that, that friendship base. It needs that um, freedom base where you're comfortable with somebody. You're so comfortable with that particular person in your life to an extent that you don't care. You just feel free around them. You just bond around them. There are people who they have issues. They have misunderstandings. Okay, but the moment they they try to solve it is very difficult 
to come back as things used to be. You're like, okay, probably we need to first of all cool for a while before we can come back together the way things used to be. And there are other people who can have misunderstandings and the moment they're solving that particular misunderstanding, everything goes back to the way it used to be. Everything. Everything goes back to the way it used to be like. You're looking at them and you're like, oh, was there a problem before? Was there an issue before? That is what happens. There is this relationship. It's a new relationship. It's a coming together. And God is so happy. Now, I want you to put this in the form of two categories. You're putting this in the form of meeting somebody you're bonding with, and you're putting this in the form of meeting your partner. So this prophetic word is not just limited to meeting your partner, but it's also expanded to meeting somebody you bonded with, somebody who is just so amazing, somebody who is just so wonderful, somebody who is, who is, who is my God, who is different. Okay, God is so happy about this new relationship. God is so happy about this new friendship you're making. God is so happy about this new decision about the two of you. He's so happy about the two of you. He's extremely happy about the two of you. When God begins to get happy about to come together, about a relationship, about a bonding, that makes it. That becomes so amazing. That becomes so different, you know, because it's a validation. It's vetal. It's a thick, a thick that God approves of this. God loves this. How do you begin to know God is happy? That peace amongst the two of you, that bonding amongst the two of you, there is a good feeling. There's nobody faking anything. Everybody's just so real and everything is just so amazing. God is very pleased and God is so happy. I want to pray for you with saying, God, bring somebody that is going to make me happy. Be it a friendship, be it a partner, whatever. In the name of Jesus, I pray with you right now. And by the blood of Jesus, let the Lord bring somebody your way that will make you happy, that will make you excited, that will fill in any space and any gap in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please, if this has been a great help to you, I want to beg on you that you please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord is going to lead you to praying for me. Oh my God, I felt this um, to say just now, and I pray I'm going to remember to say it in all the videos. So, um, um, my catch-up had a problem because I always receive seats for some people who say, I want to connect to this particular word. My catch-up had a problem. It was blocked. So right now, I have a new catch-up, and this is the new catch-up. Oh, my goodness. This is a new catch-up. This is the new um, PayPal. No, sorry. I, my PayPals are, are the same. The new catch-up is dollar sign FL Betangba. If God is leaning in your heart to plant a seed, God is leaning in your heart to sow a seed, you can go to my about, or I just place the link, the scrolling link on that. You can get there if God is leaning in your heart to do so. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you, and may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.